Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lure Painting with Zach Baker. I'm Zach Baker and today we are doing part two of the trout series, which is the brown trout. Now if you missed my first video, I'll have that linked below. I'm doing a three part series doing different trout patterns and we'll be doing a fourth video making a display box to hold them along with doing a giveaway on the last video for all three baits and the display box. As I had said, today we're doing the brown trout, so I'll be airbrushing it and then doing some acrylic paints to get all the spots on there. Thank you for tuning in, grab your favorite drink or snack, and let's paint this bait. Alrighty, so here is the blank that we're going to be using. Now in the last video, I did not paint it with the tail and the dorsal fin in. Uh, I had mentioned that, you know, these are made of rubber, so the paint and the clear coat's not gonna stick permanently. If you fish with this bait, the paint will come off of there. Uh, but since these are going to display box, I wanted them to look as nice as possible. And it was kind of difficult on the last one to make the tail and the dorsal fin match the rest of the paint job because I didn't paint it at the same time. So. We're leaving it up to whoever wins the giveaway, whether or not they're gonna fish with it. But no, if you do, paint's probably gonna come off of there. No big deal. We're just trying to make it look pretty for the display box. Now I've already prepped this bait and I've done a nice base coat of white. First exciting color that we're going to be doing is a pearl copper. Now we're gonna end up covering up most of this with other paint, but I want that underlining base coat of the little shiny pearly warm feeling that we get from the copper. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this up in the brush. We're gonna pretty well spray everything except for where that midline is. And I'm also going to be doing another color on the belly, so I'm not gonna worry about the belly as much right now. So the bait has got a nice coat of that pearlized copper. There's still a little bit of the white showing down the center right here, and that's because we're gonna do a little bit of like a translucent blue or a color shifting blue. Uh, looking at images of the brown trout, there's so many different patterns that they have and color combos. Uh, I'm just kind of picking one in between that I think looks nice. So that's what we're gonna be doing on this bait. If you wanted to skip that, you could do the whole thing in the pearl copper or maybe some sort of gold. Okay, next color we're going to be doing, and I used the same brand of paint in the last trout video too. Uh, this is just a color shift acrylic blue, and it does not actually shift like that does. I wish it did. All I did was water it down to the consistency of the normal airbrush paint, which is kind of like eggnog or milk, something like that. And I'm just gonna be spraying just a little bit of it down the center, just to add a little bit of a highlight of blue. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of this. I just want this to be a nice little highlight rather than like a solid blue. I don't know how well that's showing up for you guys. Do the same thing on the other side. Alrighty, going to clean out the airbrush and we're going to move on to the sand color, which is the Createx paint. And we're going to be spraying this color on the belly and kind of covering up a lot of that pearl copper. I don't want this to be that shiny of a gold. It kind of looks more like a goldfish rather than a brown trout, but I wanted that sparkle underneath of it. I'm gonna leave some of the pearl copper up here on the gill plate just because I think it looks cool. But we're gonna start off with the belly and then kind of cover up some of this a little bit here. We're gonna be doing another darker brown on the back of it. Uh, so this is just kind of to hide some of the gold so it looks more like a brown trout rather than a goldfish. And this paint is a transparent paint, so I'm gonna do a couple coats of it. And I'm pretty well leaving that center line with the blue alone. I'm going to hit this with a hairdryer and focus on doing another second coat on the belly. There's still a little bit of that white showing through and I want it to be more of the sand tan color. We are done with the transparent sand and now we are going to move on to a light brown. And I'm going to go very light with this. I don't want it to be that dark on the bait. We're gonna just be doing it up here along the top, maybe fade it down the side just a little bit. And then we're gonna do some little highlights up here on the front, because this is the darkest color we're gonna have on this bait, at least airbrushing wise. We're gonna be putting some solid black on there later with a the paintbrush. 
Uh, but airbrushing purposes, this is the darkest that we're going. The base colors on a brown trout are actually rather simple, at least with the pattern I'm going with. Definitely not as many colors went into this one as the, the rainbow trout. And I'm gonna hit the top of the dorsal fin too. Sorry, this, the sides of the dorsal fin. Sides of the top dorsal fin. And now is where I'm gonna fade it from the brown that's on top into the gold on the side, real lightly. Same thing on the tail, gonna darken up towards the top and leave the bottom the lighter color. Now, up here on the head, I'm gonna kind of bring it down around the eye just a little bit and kind of have it fade into this gill plate along with doing the same thing on his fin. Gonna have it a little bit darker then fade into that gold color. That is all the airbrush colors that we're going to do. I'm gonna heat set this pretty good, make sure everything's nice and dry. And then we're going to move on to putting some acrylic paint on there with the paintbrush. Now you can do this with the air compressor. We're gonna be doing those dots. We're gonna do like a base of white and then add some other colors to it. I found with this size of bait, it's a little bit easier for me to use a paintbrush rather than the airbrush, just because I have a little bit more control over the dot sizes. Um, if you are going to attempt this with the airbrush, you're going to want to turn your air pressure a lot lower. That way you can spend, you know, stay on that spot longer. Uh, but for me, I like to use the paintbrush. I have a little bit more control over the dot size and I like the sharp contrast between the white and the other colors we're going to be putting on there. That all makes sense in a minute if you've never looked at a brown trout before. So let me clean out the brush. I'll heat set this and uh, get out the acrylic paints that we're going to be using. Okie doke, the three colors we're going to be using, these are all acrylic paints. Got some nice white. We got some barn red, some black. And I'm also going to be doing some more of that enchanted, let's see what color is it actually, enchanted gold is what it is. We're going to be doing a little bit of that on top of the white just so we have some more shininess rather than uh, solid white. And then I'm going to be using two different sizes of paint brushes. I, get, I think I got these from Hobby Lobby. I've had these a long time. Uh, but I'm going to be using, I got a short stubby one to put down the base color. And then once I go in to do the color, like the black dot on top of the red or the white, I'm going to be using the smaller brush. So I'm going to be switching back and forth between these two. And then what we're going to be doing, if you've looked at a brown trout, they have a whole bunch of white spots. And then on top of the white spots, some of them are red, some of them are black. It all just depends on, I guess, where the fish is from or how come, how come they all look different. I don't know. But main goal is to put a whole bunch of white splotches all over this bait. I'm going to keep the bigger ones kind of towards the center and I don't want to go a whole lot further down. So I want my dots or my white splotches to be a little bit thicker towards the top. And then once we get below the center line, they're going to become less thick uh, as far as being condensed together. I don't really want a whole lot going down below that center line. If I do, it's just going to be one or two here and there to kind of make it look like the spots fade out into the belly of the fish. I'm also going to be doing that up on the head. This part is very time consuming, so I'm going to turn on some music and get to work. Okay, so I got on, at least on this side, all of the white done. What I'm gonna do is go back in and, uh, or I'm gonna hit it with the hairdryer first, and then go back in and add some more white to some of these spots where you can still kind of see through it. After I do that, I'm gonna go in and put this on top of it. That's the, uh, what do they call it? The enchanted gold. 
Uh, again, you don't have to do this. I just think it'd be kind of cool if the white had a little bit of a shine to it or a sparkle. Rather than just being a pearlized white, it still kind of has like that tan, goldish, shiny, warm color that I'm going for. So I'm gonna go back in, do all the white again, and uh, I'm only gonna show you guys one side. I think uh, you know it's not necessary for you to see both sides. You might get really bored. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. We'll come back. Uh, whenever I'm going to go add in the red and the black and I'll explain why I'm doing it also as I'm going I'm trying to kind of I, I went a little lower than I said earlier on where those spots are uh, I'm just kind of filling in stuff so I might add another couple spots here and there make some spots bigger the main goal is to get the big spots kind of scattered across there a little bit thicker towards the top which is where I might go in and add or make some of those spots bigger I'm also going to be doing later on just some black spots by themselves real small and uh, yeah we'll just go from there you're gonna keep adding until it looks like a brown trout simple as that right all right I'm gonna keep working on this I'll bring you guys back when we start adding in some more pretty colors all right I got all of that done I got the enchanted gold on top of all of it it probably doesn't look a whole lot different for you guys on camera but it has a nice little shine which is what I was wanting now I'm going to go in with the barn red same thing acrylic paint and we're gonna go in and I'm gonna do pretty well all of them with the red. Now I'm gonna leave a highlight of that white around it, but there's gonna be a lot of red because we're gonna go in on some of them and put black on top of it. So it'll be a white ring, a red ring, a black ring, or with a black circle. But every single one of these is either gonna get a red or a black dot on, of it, on it. Some of them are just going to be a black dot. I'm gonna kind of start up in the face and work my way down, again, using the barn red. I got all the red I think I want done on there. So now what I'm going to do is go back in. I just got some jet black, uh, whatever is still just a white circle. I'm gonna do the same thing with the black and then I'm gonna go back in and I, I can't really say every other one cause there's not an exact pattern here, but almost every other one, I'm gonna do black on top of the red. So it'll be a white ring, red ring with a black center. I'm gonna keep trucking and uh, get this knocked out. Okay, now that I got that done, there's two more things I'm going to do. One, uh, I'm probably gonna get my red back out and go touch up some of these red spots. And then I'm also going to take the black with this little bitty brush and I'm gonna add in a bunch of little speckles. I really don't want any of these speckles to go down the midline. There might be one or two, uh, but they're gonna be pretty condensed up towards the top and on the gill plate. And then after that, I've got to repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, finally got both sides done, at least done for right now. I think what I'm gonna do, because I've been staring at this for a couple of hours, is I glue these eyes in and let it sit for a while and come back. Like right now, this side looks a little thinner than that side. So I might go back in and add some more, but I need to step away from it for a minute because I'm seeing circles when I close my eyes. Uh, just like the last video, but in case you missed it, I'm using these glass eyes. They're called dragon eyes. I usually don't put these on the blanks because they, they stick off so far. I'm concerned that they would get knocked off rather quickly. But the eye socket is pretty deep on these baits, so I'm not worried about that for these. Uh, I'm going to be putting some super glue in there like always, gluing these bad boys in. I'll probably do some touch-up work and then uh, clear coat it and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> 